Yo, what's up? My name's Retro Pat. I look a little funny right now. My room looks a little funny right now. That's because I've been away from my place for around three weeks now, and I have been ordering stuff still on eBay. So we have a couple of packages oh, to open up here. So the best. Oh, they're slipping. Go ahead and uh, start cracking those bad boys open. We'll get to opening and see what the heck did I order while I was away from my place for three weeks. Now, I think I remember what about three out of four of these packages are. I do have these small ones. I'm probably going to go ahead and start with these. Just two bubble mailers. I know what one of them is. I think I forget the other one. Maybe I should save that for last. I'm not sure. I know we have an assortment of uh, a, a newer gen game like Xbox 360 uh, PC games, which I don't have many of. And I'm, I'm really excited to start collecting like PC games, big box PC, PC stuff, especially MMO stuff. I absolutely love MMOs. I grew up on MMOs. Most of the MMOs that I played aren't really like big. I didn't play like World of Warcraft growing up. I played things like runescape i played things like nostalgia pretty niche one uh spiral knights i played a lot of the niche or smaller ones that were digital download only um and i really really enjoyed them so if you guys played old mmos i hopefully i can start a cool collection around that we can see some cool progress on it all right i cut open that first package but i still don't know what's inside if i go ahead and slide this out it looks like there is some paper wrapping on the inside so let's go ahead and unravel this i think this is the one that i don't remember what it is so this is the one mystery item ah, i remember now how could i forget about this this is really really cool um i'm really excited to own this it looks super beautiful it is the skyrim elder scrolls elder scrolls I shouldn't say skyrim elder scrolls anthology that was such an, a zoomer new age remark but essentially how beautiful is this it's all the elder scrolls game now there are some missing in here i bought this for really cheap because a lot of them are missing not a lot of them but some of them are missing i forget which ones we can actually go through and uh, double check so arena i believe arena at least has one disc so i don't know if it's missing a second one that's really cool never played arena um i haven't played i've played morrowind oblivion skyrim all in pretty good depth i haven't played daggerfall i really want to play daggerfall i don't know if it's in here i think it was i think we saw it that's the one i probably care about the most daggerfall if you don't know is pretty much famous in the video game scene for having one of the biggest video game maps of all time and i think it was the biggest at the time of its release like by far this game was known as having an insane map size for its time for like seemingly no reason it was crazy uh we got morrowind we got some cool stuff with that i would love to replay that on pc uh we got elders oh these seems these are the uh the dlcs for morrowind but most of the discs are here i, I forget which ones aren't here it seems like we got disc two of oblivion but i have oblivion like i have oblivion and skyrim on other consoles and such right so skyrim's missing i don't care about that i've got like four copies of skyrim like if there's gonna be one one disc that's missing right like that's what i don't care about now the other thing is all the maps are missing i think there should be like a map for like each one or or a certain map so that's a little unfortunate but for 15 dollars, 15 dollars for this it looks super nice it's this nice little it's, it's awesome i love this so much i'm super super happy to own this i love elder scrolls man i love any sort of blank slate rpg i love creating my own character i hate taking control of a certain character and playing through a storyline it's not for me i like the blank slate i like being able to do whatever i want and i like being able to make the moral decisions that i would make not based on like what the main character wants etc etc i think it's really cool i really appreciate that freedom in games and the elder scrolls is just super known for that all right, the next package deserves no rip. It's a really simple one, really small bubble mailer. It's just one game. It's it's Portal 2. Um, I so I picked up an extra copy of Portal 2 from for five dollars, five bucks on uh, on eBay from um, Goodwill, Missouri, or some Goodwill store. So you know what? Why not? Um, as well as I really wanted a copy of Portal 2 on Xbox 360 or another one because you might be able to see. Probably can't see. There's a copy of Portal 2 back there that I bought in an Xbox 360 game lot semi recently, but. That one was sealed, and I didn't know that when I bought it. That was the, the main game I cared about in that lot. I'm shaking this around so much. That was the main game I cared about in that lot, and it was sealed, which is really cool. I love sealed games, so I'm going to keep it sealed. I, I couldn't, even though it wasn't that much of a price difference, it's like a $10 price difference. I think the sealed version is like 16 bucks, and uh, the normal complete in box is like six. I got this for five. I, you know, whatever. I'll just I'll do a new copy. So now I have two copies of Portal 2, one sealed, one not. This is not complete in box. It's missing manual, but I don't really care about manual. Um, I'll happily buy game that's missing manual uh, that's definitely not something i super care about but i want to play through portal 2 again i played it on pc i think twice um, never played it on console so you know what let's have some fun i'm definitely more of a pc gamer i think i always prefer pc but it's fun to experience games in a slightly suboptimal way sorry to the console fans out there um 
still fun. I want to do it. I want to play through it again. Have a fun time. It's nice sometimes to be able to casually kick back on the couch or on the sofa or on your bed. Uh, just have a controller in hand and just look at the screen and just chill. All right, on to the next package, which is this nice big cardboard box. Now, it did actually get smushed back here, so hopefully everything's fine. I'm sure it will be. I think this is the big box PC games, and I got this for really, I think, 10 or 15 bucks for like four games or so, and there's a special game that I want to talk about in here, so let's go ahead and actually open this bad boy up. All right, I pulled the paper top off. Looking inside, it looks pretty well packaged. There's a lot of bubble wrap wrapped around and pull this out i'm gonna go ahead and just start pulling games out and see what's inside i think it's i think it's four games some might have cardboard boxes um all right let's this is a good place to start these two i love god i love i love the art on these already i've i don't know anything about these two games fury and dawn of war soulstorm i don't know anything about these games but man I just love these covers like the art and i love big box they're pretty thick i love pc games man and it's something that i don't think many people are into collecting um certain uh retro video game youtubers talk about it a little bit and i want to get more into that scene and i think it's super cool i think it's super interesting i don't think i'll ever find myself i don't want to say this yet i don't see myself purchasing like a retro computer built to play these games at any point soon but maybe one day we'll see i actually fun little fact i used to work my first job was actually working uh, at a uh, computer demanufacturing plant so it was computers and server boards so i learned a lot about like older computer hardware and a lot about like sorting hardware and stuff like that when i was like 15 I worked at that. That was a fantastic job. So anyway, it was hard work, but it was, it was a fun job. Looking around like 60 pounds, sometimes over 100 pounds server boards with other guys. But it was, it was a fun meme, taking them apart. But these two games, Fury and Dawn of the Soul Storm. Let's go ahead and see if they're complete or what they got going on. This has like an extra disc, it, look, it looks like. Then also the manual looks really nice. Looking pretty good. I don't know if I'll actually play any of these games, but I like the big box PC games on the shelf. Let's go ahead and check out Fury. See what's inside we got a fat manual here a little water damaged it feels like but a fat manual that's beautiful and what is this little card this explains useful commands that's cool it has like a slash afk and like slash death if i can get it to focus it's like showing the uh useful commands that's really cool i don't know why i like that that's so cool that's such a nostalgic like little computer game little meme i like that that's cool what else we got in here Okay, now there is a game, the main game I bought this lot for, I don't think I've ever actually played this version of the game, but this series I love so much. Once again, I got this for like 10, 15 bucks. I'll, I'll edit this and I'll put some stuff on screen. Um, let's do, let's do the, the one I care about the most last. So let's do this one. Doom 3. Look at this. I'm not a huge Doom guy. I mean, I respect it. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a Doom game, actually. I, I did play a Quake, Quake 64 on n64 growing up dude this box though oh my goodness like this is like the peak of like video game boxes and art looks incredible not to say it's gone downhill or anything it's just an expansion pack it's a doom 3 expansion pack resurrection of evil it's just so cool is it sticky what is it oh it's velcro okay oh ho, ho. <laughs> man i don't know i'm a maybe i'm a lo actual loser but this, this PC stuff does get me excited. So you've got to open it up at the top here. It looks like slide it out. And then it's just a disc on the inside. Wow. That's really cool though. That looks beautiful. Like this just looks so beautiful. Um, yeah. Wow. That's going to look so good on the shelf. Super excited for that. That's awesome. All right. Last game out of the PC big box. The one I care about the most. I love this series. Super under love series. Fate. Trader fate in general. I love fate. I've never played like any of the expansions or any of the later versions But fate man, if you don't know, it's a pretty like Diablo like game uh, I never played Diablo, but I played fate This was kind of like it has like it has like think of Diablo with more like world of warcraft style like cartoony ish graphics um, Maybe not even like wow exactly, but I, I love the graphics and the style the style of fate uh, You would have the voice the narrator of fate as well if you remember him is incredible fate smiles upon you well, um, oh, it's so good. And then, yep, once again, I'm not used to these, like, pull-out cardboard at the top games. This one might be missing the game. Okay, no, it's missing the, uh, CD case, but it does have the actual game in a little, 
little thing. That, you know what? I mean, I'm super happy with that. I, I, you know, I don't care. Um, all I really wanted was to make sure... All the little box. The box is what I really, really care about. Maybe one day I'll get the original Fate box. That would be incredible because I just... I love this series. I love this series. It's fantastic. This was like 2004-ish, early 2000s uh, PC game stuff. Do you guys remember like Wild Tangent? Or uh, Wild Tangent or like Big Fish Games. Those were like the Windows XP little like app store shops you could, you could get PC games from. And that's how... I explored a lot of those games, which is cool. All right, it's time for the last box, which is also the biggest. This thing is a monster. Let's crack it open. All right, I know that cut looked a little funny, but it worked surprisingly well and it did get the package open. So let's go ahead and finish what we started. We have this huge cardboard box slowly open up and let's see if I can maybe lift it a little to show. I'll, just, I'll have to pull it out, guys. I gotta pull it out to show you guys for sure. It is something that I made a little YouTube short about. This thing it smells like it's been sitting in a garage for like 20 years. You can really smell it. It is a plug-and-play system, but not any plug-and-play system. An official SSX. I know I'm destroying my mic here. Official SSX plug-and-play system. That is incredible. I'm a huge SSX fan. I have the SSX shrine. I can't, my head's too big. It's back there in the corner. Um, I love the series. I love SSX Tricky. Probably my favorite retro game of all time. Probably one of the best mechanically games, mechanical games that I've ever played and it holds up super well. Uh, and it's super cool to own this. Never gonna play it. I'll probably play it once to just be on the board. How cool is it to have a physical snowboard to play? An SSX game. I couldn't pass it up. It was also like 23 bucks. 23 bucks, free shipping. I'll take it any day of the week. But there you have it. That is everything I got today. If you want a quick little recap, here you go. I'm doing my best impression while trying not to drop all of this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like on it. Let me know what games you want to see me pick up or what games you want to see me play. Talk about uh, what big box PC games I should be looking out for because I'm super excited to get into that. Super excited to actually play some Portal 2 and add more stuff to the collection. I love finding out about niche stuff like this SSX board as well. So I had a great day. Hopefully you guys had a great day as well. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more retro or just video game content. Uh, check out these stuff down below. Comment, whatever. That's it. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Peace. Have a good one.